Welcome back to another new creature review. Today we are checking out Transformers, Power of the Primes, Megatronus, Quintus Prime, and Solus Prime. These three are the last wave coming out of the Prime Masters in the Power of the Primes line. So I decided that I will do them together. So let's uh, check these boxes out real quick before we get into it. Let's check out Megatronus first. We got our blister pack right here. We got his logo, Power of the Primes, Megatronus. Let's see. On the back, let's get in close. His decoy armor, his bomb burst from the uh, Pretenders line, the old, old, old Pretenders line. I don't know what this is about because that's not Quintus Prime. That is Megatronus, Dark Warrior. And let's check out Quintus Prime with Bludgeon. That's really cool. I, This is one of the coolest figures, I think. Every time they bring this guy back, I love it. Love that skull face. Let's see, on the back, bludgeon decoy armor. And then there's Quintus Prime. And then there's Solus Prime right there. I, d I don't know why, they've, uh, why they're putting other Prime Masters here. I know they've been pairing up uh, Prime Masters with the other uh size classes but that makes sense because they have a place for them these guys are all the same size i mean i guess they can switch armor maybe i don't know um i mean i yeah i do know they can switch armor but um i don't know if that's the intention uh be behind putting uh another prime master on the back of the box here's solace prime octo punch i had octo punch growing up like the the bigger version and uh, this is quite a treat going back to the old days there. <laughs> That's cool. It would have been cool if they had that uh, that weird uh, face in there instead of the big yellow dot. If they had his, uh, his little uh, swollen crustacean face in there. Let's see, on the back, there is his product render, Octopunch decoy armor, Solus Prime weapons forger. That's really cool. All right, let's get these open. All right, here they are outside of their packaging. Let's take a look at what they come with. Each one of them comes with a little piece of paper. <laughs> yeah, His, they each come with instructions. Not that you really need them. They're all pretty much the same. They're kind of a one and done kind of thing. Right, let's take a look at Megatronus. And this is a bomb burst weapon. It's just a claw. Let's get in close here. We're probably going to stay close because these guys are pretty short. They're like they maybe two and a half inches each. So that's that's kind of nice. There's there's a little bit of um, a uh, razor scar right there where they cut it off the sprue. There's just a tiny bit of flashing around there, but that's that's all right. So let's take a look at Megatronus. There he is, and you know what? I have his special edition Megatronus as well. Here they are together. Uh, I guess like this. Yeah. That's that's very, very different. <laughs> All right. And let's take a look at the uh bomb burst decoy armor right here. <laughs> His um uh, articulation is just arms. There's nothing in the head, nothing in the waist, nothing in the legs. Uh, unless you count the five millimeter peg for his uh, weapon mode, but um, nah, I'm not gonna count that. Let's look at his details here. Get those little gold eyes. They did a pretty good job in there. <clears throat> He's got the blue uh, ear fins right there. A little bit of purple. Everything's nice and sharp. On the paint as far as paint goes there's not much on these guys and they're hollow on the back so we got that hollow arms but for what they are 
they're pretty cool the um the molding is really cool and reminiscent of their g1 counterparts let's uh see what this looks like with his weapon in hand so there he is bringing in the sheaves with his awesome awesome triple scythe looking weapon right there huh all right and let's uh open this up and we'll stick megatronus in here see that it it fits in pretty uniformly so if if you have anything kind of sticking out you're probably putting it in crooked all right so close that up that's what he looks like and if you take this and stick it on his back you can see it's keyed right here on both sides so that should be your hint right there how this goes in there are the pegs right there on the insides and we just slide that right in and then this turns into a weapon transform all right and then there are two pegs right in there do you see those those two pegs and then there are footholds right here and those slide right in so we slide it in come on and then we have our weapon mode right there I'm gonna leave these guys in weapon mode as we go through them and I'll put them in some figures hands in just a moment after we're done with that let's check out quintus prime now there's quintus nice and yellow this is probably my favorite color scheme right here with the uh the purple and the and the, that bright yellow with the orange logo right there i really like how that looks let's get in a little closer there's no paint on the face there's hardly any paint on this guy at all except for the logo and he looks like this all right put that down there comes with this not very uh imaginative gun it's got rivets on the side i mean it it's kind of cool but i mean it, it looks kind of like a like a tower you know like a like a sky needle kind of thing doesn't look very um imaginative here but that's all right let's see what it looks like in the bludgeon decoy armor's hands oh come on there we go all right and while we're at it let's get a good look at bludgeon here oh my look at that face without the prime master in there there's almost a like a pseudo light piping in his eyes if you have this the uh, light shining through properly that is creepy I love that I'm not sure that was intentional <laughs> get the uh, bronze waist piece right here little gray accents you got the uh, purple on top of the yellow it's a little sloppy on one side I don't you can see a little bit right there in the corner got the purple forearm armor the yellow shoulders that's cool I think this guy is very nicely detailed he's hollow in the back just like his uh, his uh, decoy armor brethren the uh, articulation is just the arms and the uh, flip down all right and we transform him like this and then we got a nice looking gun of sorts it would be nice if they did a little more to conceal the arms a little but I mean it it looks 
It looks decent enough. It looks like a pretty hefty gun. Let's put him down. And this is the guy I've been looking forward to. Octo Punch with Solus Prime. Solus Prime. Solus Prime. Let's take a look at Solus Prime. I love this color scheme too. Look at this. You've got that cyan on that maroon the little yellow face that is decent even though they're more or less the same that is decent and then you've got the blue icon in there transformed like that and I do have the special edition version as well let's take a look at these two side by side same mold very different I wish they would have put more effort into the uh, special edition one because it came with a premium figure. Oh, premium of sorts. Let's see. The icons are the same color, but the uh, surrounding armor is not. It works more or less. Cool, cool, cool. All right. And he transforms like that let's put him down here this is it is a weapon of sorts <laughs> it's a little octopus tentacles right there and let's see how that looks in octo punch decoy armor's hands yeah but this is supposed to go on his back So it has that uh, those octopus arms like the original toy, which were coming off of the arms originally, but it's it's nice. I I really like this. Let's let's take a look at these details. Like I said before, there was a like a puffy crustacean face in there uh, on the original, but this this does well too. Got the uh, maroon arms, light blue breathing apparatus. Yeah, green legs, gray hips, like a teal feet. Huh. And the maroon backpack. It's pretty hollow back here, too. But by far, because of nostalgia, this guy is my favorite one looks so cool <laughs> he he looks so much like the uh the original i i love that little callback uh that they did with power of the primes and honestly that's the only reason i picked up any of these we have this guy and then bludgeon and uh cloudburst and uh and submarauder and leech er, and uh oh what's his name um skullgrin those were all figures that uh, I either had or wanted when I was growing up with the Pretender Transformer line. So I'm glad they brought these back, even if they're these little tiny figures, you know, it's the size of my hand right there. They still look really good. And you can tell that they, they put a decent amount of detail and a good amount of work into these. So let's transform this guy. And then we have, I don't know what this is supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> it does not look like a weapon. There, there's a point right here. Maybe it, maybe it, you pretend it shoots a spear out or something. Yeah, like a harpoon. All right. Let's see how these look in these guys' hands. Huh. That's It's a pretty big weapon for Legends class. Even, you know... The instructions say to, that these are supposed to be back. Like, but if you, uh, I don't know, if you hold it sideways, maybe, and then he can, he can kind of do one of these numbers where he's holding it. That could work. Let's put that in there. I imagine with the deluxe class, this will be a little bit better. 
Oh yeah, the deluxe class, he can hold it with no problem. It's still kind of unwieldy. It's very long for a a um a firearm of any kind. Yeah, these are kind of clunky. And here is the Voyager class. Ooh, well, that's no good. Her arm pylons get in the way. Can we move this out of the way, maybe? Yeah, there we go. So you kind of have to move that out of the way. But now she has a Prime Master back scratcher. <laughs> All right, I mean, that's, that's cool. All right, and let's take this out of his hand and we'll put it in um, Optimus Primal's uh, monkey hand here. That does not want to cooperate. That's a little tight. There we go. So open out his hand so we have the illusion of uh, him holding it. And for him, it looks kind of like just like a like a some sort of handgun that works for these guys i think it's passable with the voyager class but with the leader class these are these are excellent let's go ahead and uh stand these guys up in vanilla poses and we will do a size comparison all right i'm going to go ahead and put these guys in their armor oops and like I said before, they are pretty form fitting. So if you have anything sticking out or things don't close up, there's a good chance you just didn't put it in right. There is Bludgeon. I'm sorry, not Bludgeon, Quintus Prime. Here is Megatronus in Bomb Burst. And here is Solus Prime in Octopunch. And here's how they scale. From uh, Legends to Um, to leader class pretty good all right I really like these figures I like the little characters that they represent and really just like most of the uh, Prime Wars trilogy these figures are riding completely on uh, nostalgia fumes because uh, I'm pretty sure um, if you've been collecting uh, the Prime Wars trilogy, you know that uh, they've been hitting really hard on the old figures, the old G1. They've been doing a lot of callbacks, and these these do a great job of that. I really like how they call back on these pretender shells. That's the only thing that, at least in my opinion, that's the only thing bringing me back to getting these otherwise if they if they would have gone with like brand new characters or kind of no name characters um you know i would have just been like all right well there's there's some money saved i suppose but they did good they i think they did really good just sticking to their guns Riding on that nostalgia wave and, uh, you know, the I'm, I'm certain there are a good amount of collectors that are happy that they decided to go this direction. I certainly am. All right. That's it for my review. Tell me what you think of these uh, Prime Masters, this final wave. I think this 
was the winning wave right here. They they got me right in the uh, nostalgia feels right there. Um, but I mean, your mileage may vary. Um, what do you guys think of these uh, Prime Masters? What do you think of the uh, the uh, power of the Primes wave? I think it's very obvious that they they are just riding on fumes and they're just kind of coasting, hoping that they hit a downhill slope so they can, you know, uh, keep their momentum going. Um, but yeah, tell me tell me what you think in the uh, comments below. Uh, if you like this review, give me a like. If you have not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit that notification bell so you can know when I put up more videos. Uh, be on the lookout for pictures of these guys on my Instagram. I'm certainly going to get really close uh, in on these and maybe try some of that miniature photography. I, I'm not sure how to do that yet, but I'd really like to, especially because these are so small. Uh, I'd like to do some experimenting with that. Uh, so check out my Instagram, check out my Facebook page. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.